And here we go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to BWT and Sports. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the, the subscribe button. And if you look in the corner, hit the notification bell. That lets you know when we have live shows, live interviews, and any of the latest breaking news that we may bring to BWTM Sports. Of course, check out BWTM Sports Group, BWTM Sports Group channel page on Facebook. If you're on Facebook and you're not in the, in the room, get in the room, share your stuff. Okay. Commiserations to Liverpool tonight before I begin. Uh, that keeper didn't do you any favours whatsoever. But there you go. Uh, always next year, a keeper has to go. Like he'd be getting his transfer. He'd be getting, like, as he came off the pitch, he wouldn't be getting on a plane back to England with me. <laughs> so <laughs> he'd stay right where he is. And they didn't want him in Madrid either or anywhere else they want him. So I'd get rid of that, that keeper anyway. All right. So. This is my uh, post-fight reaction to Jamie McDonald's fight with uh, Inoue. So McDonald versus Inoue. I think uh, in the pre-fight to this, I said McDonald held all the advantages in terms of height, reach, being physically the bigger man in there. But I said this fight would come down to potentially footwork and whether he knew he could punch as a bantamweight. Well, we found out real quickly that he knew he can punch real hard a bantamweight. It was like, very interesting that the strategy that I was looking for McDonald to do was to get onto the front foot, use the jab, and hit the knew with the jab and not allow him to get forward. Not allow him to set those attacks. Anytime he tried to set up an attack, get hit with a hard jab in his face. It doesn't help when I don't know if McDonald's struggling at the weight. I don't know if he felt weak. I, I don't know what to say about all that. I said that he knew he looked like a star. Um, he had that star quality about him. And... Uh, it seemed to me that McDonald was scared of Inui. He was intimidated by Inui. He looked like a guy who was scared of the inevitable, like he knew he was going to get knocked out. He knew it was coming, or just how soon it would happen, because he's folded. Like the jab was non-existent. It was like it was a jab was there, but it was all out of range. He was just tapping, and as Jim Watt would say, they were don't hit me punches. And the only time McDonald actually tried to throw anything back with any real intent to hurt Inui is when his back was against the ropes and he's getting pounded on against the ropes so for me you know Inui is a star no doubt people talk about Lomachenko but this guy Inui has done exactly what Lomachenko's done but he's done it without a defeat and a lot of people are not talking about Inui's uh, achievements for some reason they talk about Lomachenko's achievements but this guy's unbeaten and he's just dem that just destroyed Jim McDonald, who a lot of people consider as a world class fighter. Um, that there's no shame in getting beat by a star. This guy is going to be a star. And if you're not already a star, you know, he is the goods. Um, great footwork. I mean, it just shows you when I said to you about the fight, this fight was won by footwork. This fight was won by footwork. You look when McDonald tried to use the jab, and you would just take a step back. Just make just a little step back, a little step back, make McDonald feel very uncomfortable. Just a little step back. Just a little step back. So it was. Little step back. Little steps back. And, and and you throw a jab, it'd be out of range. Out of range. And then when the news ready, it was like, okay, now I'm gonna hit you. And when he hit the first time I hit McDonald. McDonald was all over the place. So I don't know if McDonald is, he's been out of the weight for a while. I don't know if McDonald's, you know, been trying to make the weight and now it's all caught up with him and now he needs to move up in weight. But I don't even think if McDonald was on weight and he did the weight right and all the rest of it, he would have beaten him in the new. No chance. Footwork. 
you made McDonald very uncomfortable. A guy like that needs a guy like McDonald, you must allow to get rhythm. So the first round, you know, if you let this guy go two, three, four, five, six rounds, he starts to find the jab and find his rhythm and start getting comfortable. Now nah, he just took that straight away with the footwork. Didn't make frustrated McDonald, didn't allow him to land the, the jab, not with any sort of force. And then he just moved himself, plied himself into position, and then let go of his punches. He said he wanted to stop McDonald around, and he stopped McDonald around. My God, I feel sorry for Ryan Burnett. I really do. I'd like to see Tete versus Inui. That would be a great fight. Tete versus Inui, what a fight Tete versus Inui would be. But uh, Ryan Burnett, he better, he better, uh, he better swerve Inui because I don't see anything in Ryan Burnett that doesn't suggest that he's going to get. I mean, that last guy, whoever the guy was, he fought to unify the title. His fight, I didn't even watch Ryan Burnett because I find him an extremely boring fighter. He probably is a really good fighter, but I, every time I've seen Ryan Burnett, I've fallen asleep. No, I literally have. I'm not trying to be funny. Um, he probably is a very talented unified champion. He's pretty talented, but. Uh, Got his, he's all banged up. That's not a good sign for a guy who's going to fight Inui. You can't be getting hit flush by Inui like that. So Inui is going to be a serious, serious, serious omre. I mean, he's serious. I mean, talk about uh, Lomachenko, skillful and all that stuff. This guy, this guy here, Inui, he's unbeaten. He's skillful, great footwork and all the rest of it. But man, he hits hard as well. He hits hard as well. You know I mean, there's no messing around there. So um, there's no shame in McDonald getting knocked up by Nui. As I said, this guy's a star. McDonald's a good fighter. This guy's a star. The difference. Um, so the game plan went out the window. You couldn't use the jab because the guy was moving in such a way. It was making you awkward. It made you reach, overreach at times. I don't know what you say to McDonald after that, you know. Um, but uh, the bantamweight division's got a fighter now that he's done exactly what Lomachenko's done, but hasn't suffered a loss. So I think more people need to be jumping on the bandwagon of Anui, like they're jumping on like a jump on a bandwagon of Golovkin, not Golovkin, yeah, Golovkin. What's the other guy? Um, Lomachenko. This guy here is dangerous. Very dangerous. Remember I said this guy kind of reminds me of Pacquiao. He's got a sort of Pacquiao speed and power behind him. But I wanted to see McDonald push him back. I didn't want to see McDonald trying to get off the back foot and allow Nui to, 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 to get on top of him. The minute McDonald touches back, touch Rob said, oh Lord. I was like, oh Lord, here we go. And then the punches just rained in. And of course, that was that. You know what I mean? So, uh, poor Inui. I mean, Jane McDonald. I feel sorry for Inui as well. Here's, he said he's going to stop the guy in the round. And the way he stopped him, it was like, well, I expect it to happen. And the guy, the guy looks ruthless. Like when he, he won the title, the way he's posing afterwards, it was like a, like a real proper killer. So, yeah. So, congratulations to Nui. We need to be celebrate, celebrating Nui the same way they're celebrating Lomachenko. Celebrating Nui the same way you celebrate Lomachenko. Because guy's a top-class fighter. Top, top-class fighter. So, that was my thoughts. Jake McDonald, mate, move up in weight. And that's for Inui. Wow. Wow. Inui versus... Inui versus Tete. That's a fight. I hope those two... I hope those two, when they're in the tournament, those two kept well away from one another until... Uh, until like a final. That'd be great. Ingram. No, 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 no. Loma of the two Olympic gold medals, amateur career, unique fighting style. Inui is a star, but there's a reason why Inui has why has that type. Uh, he's got height, but I haven't seen him decimate a man like that in the first round. That that that's a world champion in, in Jay McDonald, who you know, height, reach, 
uh, weighed in, like, uh, McDonald weighed almost like a welterweight tonight and went in there and took him out around. Had he said he'd do it in a round, Lomachenko ain't done that. Said he'd take him out of the round and took him out. Mate, listen, I care about the styles. I'm just telling you, I'm saying to you, no, I don't care about the styles. No, make excuses. This guy deserves the same. He's picked, he's gone on, he's moved up in weight, unbeaten, and picked up the titles. It's boxing, is boxing. I don't care about the different styles. All I care about for me is the man has done what he's done and he's done it in devastating fashion. To me, that's what matters. Different styles, different styles for different strokes for different folks, fine, but he still deserves the credit. So because one guy's a slugger and the other one's a dancer, um, that don't mean one guy's a come forward fighter that wants to take you out. Another guy likes to pick you apart and pick his moments to take you apart. You know, one's a surgeon and the other one is, is, is an out and out, like a, like a hurricane, you know? Um, they're both good at what they do, but they both deserve to have credit. So I'm not, I'm not going to say, well, because he's got a style and that guy's got a dip. No, they both deserve credit. They're both top fighters. And Inui should be given all the credit in the world for that performance. Really. Top performance from Inui. Absolute top performance. No, I didn't see Tyron Nurse. And Tyron Nurse and what's the other one? Bradley Skeet. Two of the same guy, innit? So they both got beat. So, uh, uh, no, I didn't see it, but both of them guys should be fighting, should have been fighting world class a long time ago. So, right, let me come out, get out of here, and I'll do my other videos I've got to do tonight as well. I shall speak to you soon. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, leave your comments. Commiserations, Jamie McDonald, and all the best to Mr. Nui. How many guys have you seen fight, fight like Lomachenko, Perna Whitaker? Um, guy will just take you apart surgically. Colonel Whitaker, there's a guy. Had all the moves, could punch. Port likes it, Delahoya, Felix Trinidad. Colonel Whitaker, bank it. I'm out of here. Have a good night. Lomachenko's nothing. Lomachenko's nothing new. Lomachenko's nothing new. What Lomachenko does now is nothing new. They're just new to somebody who's new watching boxing. But he's nothing new. You look at Pernal Whitaker. Pernal Whitaker could do just the things, just the same things. He also was, I believe, Pernal Whitaker was Olympian. Yeah, the 19, 1984 Olympics. I think Pernal Whitaker won those Olympics. Same, the class of 84. Mark Breland. Evander Holyfield. Ty, I think Tyrell Biggs. I could be wrong, Tyrell Biggs. Colonel Whitaker. And there's another one as well. Might be uh, uh, Taylor as well. Was it Jermaine? Was it Jermaine Taylor? Was, that? was it Jermaine? No, it's Breland. I don't know if it's Taylor, was it? Breland. Yeah. The class of 84. Check him out. Right, I'm out of here. Take care.